Hey guys, what is up? It is Lee here and welcome to a new video. Now, this is going to be the first episode of my brand new series which I've named Altscape. Now this is basically from my new account which I have made. I've made it quite a few months ago so a few of the clips are going to be kind of old. They're going to be updates in the game which are no longer there but I thought I may as well get this video out there now and then I can just keep progressing with my, um, my new account. So the reason why I've made a new account is just to try RuneScape you know from a low levels perspective again obviously when I did start back in 2009 you know there was none of this um, combat system you know I've never been a low level throughout EOC I you know maxed a couple of months after EOC came out and I got comp a few um, comp cape a few months after that so I've always been a high level during RS3 so it's gonna be a I think really really fun to do from a low level, work my way up. The goal is obviously max cape, but the main goal is to get that comp cape. Now if I can get it on another account, I know it's going to be a massive, you know, nerd thing to say, but you know, having two comp capes accounts is going to be pretty awesome. And the main reason as well I have made this account is so I can, you know, have a little bit of fun, set this as a, as a priority rather than my main account currently which I'm making the videos on. Um, when I do want to decide to go for 120 everything and 5.2 bill which are very very long term goals of mine but do not worry I know there's a few people or a lot of people that are subscribed for PVM content now do not worry I do have a little trick up my sleeve for what I'm going to be doing as a series on my main account which is going to basically include all the boss pets so it's going to take a lot of work to do hence why I'm making this account is because I wouldn't be able to pump out weekly content making a series which requires a lot of luck a lot of PVMing um, and yeah just uh, you know a lot of luck like I said but hopefully that series can run quite successfully with this one now I was hoping to add this series in afterwards um, after I'd completed my uh, max cash tab or my loot um, my 2.5 bill loot tab but that's going on a little bit longer than I would possibly have expected and I don't want to hold this off anymore as updates are getting removed from the game um, which you'll see you know the beach event is still in this episode which I do apologize for old content and pre-recorded content but um, nonetheless it's going to be a video for you guys to watch so yeah it's going to be around a 40 minute video so you know you can escape and listen at the same time but um, for you people that are subscribed for purely PVM content then yeah I'm going to get this account up to a stage where I can PVM you know do Slayer and stuff again and also I've got a little trick up my sleeve for when I'm completed my 2.5 bill loot tab so yeah guys I'm going to st stop rambling now I'm going to let you enjoy the uh, first episode of my brand new account. So yeah guys enjoy it and I shall see you again soon. So here we are then, it is going to be the brand new account time. This is something that I've been kind of looking forward to. It means that I can leave my main, um, you know, set it off on the side, let it do whatever it wants to do, gain XP, go for that 5.2 bill and 120 all because that is something that I do want to do. Um, that is a very long term goal of mine. And obviously to compensate that, I'm going to make a new account, I'm going to make it an alt account, a regular account, um, starting from nothing, just working my way up. Because I want to level up again, I want to sort of interact with the lower based, um, you know, community that I've that I've got subscribed to me. Um, obviously, I think it's going to be quite kind of fun as well, going through money making methods, um, obviously Slayer again, leveling up. And I don't know, in my opinion, I've just got this really good feeling about doing something like this. Um, it's going to give me possibly the most fun that I've had on this game in quite a while. Obviously, seeing progression, which I always like to do and always like to see in my videos. I mean, even from my early videos, um, you can see progression right the way through from when I was doing maxing comp videos and, you know, starting to do my loot videos and even Slayer and stuff. And I think this is going to be one of the best ones to look at, as in visually and to see progress. Obviously starting from nothing, starting from level 3, all skills level 1, and just, you know, going as, you know, going full out and g trying to get it as, as high as level as I possibly can. And just to, you know, have fun in the game. So I'm just randomising my outfit here on screen now. Um, hopefully the username that I've thought of isn't taken. It has been a previous username of mine, so I would like that on, on this account, um, just to sort of like reminisce some memories really. So 
Hopefully it's not taken. I'll be back shortly though to give you guys an update. So guys, here we have my uh, new account, my alt account. It's called Wales Junior. Um, I didn't want, I didn't get the account name that I was looking for, but never mind. I'm settling with this one anyway. Um, but yeah, as you can see, everything is standard. I haven't done anything other than just get off Tutorial Island. I skipped the tutorial as well halfway through, so I've got my interfaces and everything to sort out. I'm gonna get it done, similar to um, my main my main account. And um, yeah, we're going to go from there really. I'm going to do a few cosmetic things, get a few teleports unlocked and obviously as you can see here, get a few teleports unlocked um, and get a few cosmetic outfits and you know, like register my email address and stuff. Maybe get like an XP lamp and whatnot. So the first few things on this account aren't going to be major things. I'm not going to get into skilling straight away. Just to, I'm just doing this to generally sort everything out before I do start, but I'm keeping you guys up to date. So until then guys. Um, yeah, I'll be back when I'm done with everything. So, I've done a bit of running about. I've got the Varrock Lodestone unlocked, and I'm currently doing my Fashionscape right now. Obviously, I'm not the best at doing it. I'm trying to make it look like my actual main account as well. So, I need to change the shoes, and that's the one thing that I am allowed to do, is interact with my main, and then go into my main's house to change the shoes, because obviously, to change shoes regularly, you need to complete one of the Fremnit quests. And I've not done that right now, and the basic shoes that you get when you first make RuneScape account are absolutely horrendous, as seen there. So I'm just going to pop into my mains account's house now, and sort the shoes out, and then that is it. There is no not going to be any more interaction with my mains account, or well, there shouldn't be anyway, as I said before. I'm not allowed to trade any GP over. Um, it's all got to be earned from, you know, what I've got to what I've got to start with. I mean, at the moment, I've only got three fishing bait, and that was off, I think, Tutorial Island or whatever before I skipped it, and whatever is in my bank, which, yeah, I'll show in a sec. But I'm going to change these shoes quick, unlock a few more um, teleports, and I'm going to get the animation, the resting animation from um, the beach um, while it's still available. Um, that's, why, that's another reason I wanted to make this account, is to get a few things before the, um, the beach went. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with that now. Uh, probably the first few minutes, or these, this first few episodes, are going to be kind of, um, you know, tedious, kind of boring until I, you know, gain rapid levels and start doing some consistent stuff like quests and whatnot. But for now, it's going to be a lot of pissing about, which I am sorry for, but it's going to have to be done. So uh, we're already coming in with an XP lamp, which I'm probably. I don't know, I'm going to stick it on agility, I guess, because it is sort of still a tedious skill. I know you've got silver hawks now, but obviously I'm not allowed to trade anything over and give this account any GP. So agility without silver hawks is going to be a bit, bit of a pain. Plus, I need to win them off the treasure hunter, which is even more of a pain. But um, yeah, I suppose getting agility done and out of the way as soon as possible is the best option. Um, but I mean, my house currently is in Yanil on my mains account, but I might switch it to Remington so it's not that far to uh, to run to. Um, but yeah, that is probably going to be the only account interaction from my main. I might, I'm not too sure, do, you know, if I start doing Reaper tasks and I need a duo partner, then I can use my mains account for it or I'll get a few friends or whatnot. Um, but yeah, as of obviously trading goes, I'm not allowed to trade it. I'm only allowed to trade, you know, the GE or other players, you know, for items or people that I don't know, not my friends and stuff, because obviously that's biased. But um, yeah, just on the way to Remington now to obviously uh, my house to get my shoes sorted because Fashionscape is number one priority. And um, yeah, we'll go back to the beach, we'll get that resting animation and. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't know if you can tell, but you know, I haven't played RuneScape as a low level since EOC. I mean, when I was EOC, I was already maxed, or max combat, I mean, um, and I basically maxed fully a few months after EOC was released. So, this is going to be completely new to me. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it, um, you know, to see how far we get and how, we, how far we progress. Um, and yeah, it's going to be basically. The only thing that's different compared to me with a with a, a new player is I have knowledge of the game and I know what to do, what's best to do. But as a low level, I am yet to experience it. So that is one thing that I'm really, really looking forward to doing. So um, yeah, fashionscape and then get a few things from the beach. 
So we've got this pretty fancy resting animation which is to just sit on each three different types of deck chair ten times each and you get that pretty cool animation. So that is pretty much all the things I'd want it to do. My fashion escape I think is on point right now. It looks exactly the same as my main or it does anyway at the moment. Um, which yeah that is basically it. Um, obviously I'm not going to record every single level I get because that's going to be tedious as fuck and also I'm not quite sure how I'm going to approach this game to begin with. Um, obviously I could go for just a straight you know sort of combat build straight away and leave skilling on the side but um, I'm really not sure I'll probably just do it all in one really. Try and unlock quests. Quests are a good key point of this game. Quests unlock your like new abilities, new items, new places to go, of course, and good XP as well when you get into the Grandmaster ones. So that is probably what I'm going to do. Is just do a bit of everything. I'm not going to go into one specific thing. Probably, obviously, my combat stats. I'm going to base it around Slayer. Um, but yeah, as for the bank, I'll leg it there now, and I may as well investigate this meteorite if I can and slap it onto agility. So yeah, with two agility, that is some progress. If we go into the bank though, then uh, yeah, I ask for the pin, and there we go. There is my bank. It is. Uh, there's nothing in it. Absolutely nothing in it whatsoever. So everything is going to be earned, you know, without anyone else, anybody else's help, including my mains. No one can trade stuff to me without me giving them GP for it. So that's how I see it. Um, I can only buy the item that I want for that correct amount of GP. So obviously there's no Iron Man or anything like that, so there's no specific rules. Um, because I, I didn't really want to do that, I just wanted to go out and have fun and earn money um, from low levels and just work my way up and see progression like I, seen, like I said before. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not, my clan chat on this account isn't going to be enabled, I'm going to have it disabled. Um, so if you do want to speak to me, then uh, yeah, just pop into my mains account um, name and we'll go from there really. So I'm, I'm still pretty hyped for this to be honest, so I'm not really sure what to do next. So we'll see. So obviously the first place to start really when you're making your account, even when I've been look, look watching 07 videos and just in general, is to do the waterfall quest. It requires no requirements, you can do it at level 3 or any combat level and it boosts your attack and strength to almost 35 I think or maybe even higher. So that is a good way to kick off. So what I'm going to do first though, I might do a little bit of the stronghold, try and get some cash, buy myself like a ring of jeweling and whatnot and then I can uh, you know go off to castle wars and stuff like that and um, yeah we can unlock some more lodestones but that is a quest that I do want to do that is a quest that I'm probably gonna end up doing pretty soon if not straight away just to boost my levels up just to give me you know a better combat level and whatnot and uh, then we can sort of like implement things look at skilling and stuff so waterfall quest hash one priority so we just quickly legged it through the shot of security we've got ourselves 10k in the process and also we can choose between the fancy boots or the fighting ones we're gonna get the fancy boots for sure because they look kind of cool but um yeah guys i never really realized that this was sort of so much easier now i mean back in the day you had to answer all security questions to get through here and also um stuff attacked you where i ran through it as a level three or level four whatever i am um, and I didn't get attacked once so that is one thing that I want to get the 10k out of the way I might do more of the stronghold like the exam center and stuff in a minute or I might just buy stuff now buy the stuff that I need to do waterfall quest and uh, quickly slap that out of the way and then my account will be uh, sort of my attack and strength will be much better than what they are now um, and then we can go from there so quick easy way to get 10k is just leg it down to here in the stronghold of security so I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but I've got all the items that I need, or roughly what I need for this waterfall quest, so hopefully I can get this done as soon as possible. So hopefully the next clip you see is me completing the quest and me getting some mad levels. So I think this is the last part of the quest, I just need to use this urn onto the chalice and we're basically done I think. Yeah there we are, that is the quest done, that is such a great low level quest um, for starter players, I mean I was very lucky. Didn't use much food going through, didn't get hit very much by the high level monsters. Um, and yeah, that's what we get. 13.7k strength XP, attack XP, diamonds, gold bars and mithril seeds, which I can all sell to the G and get some money for um, 
maybe weapons, gear or skilling supplies. So that is one quest that I've ticked off and a very, very good quest to do. Because look, we get ourselves 30 attack and 30 strength, which puts us up to 22 combat straight away. And yeah, that is a very, very good starter quest, like I said. So, um... Yeah, onwards and upwards. I'm probably going to sell this lot in the inventory, like the diamonds and the gold bars, just to get a little bit of cash going, and then we'll go from there. I actually kind of remember when Mithril Seeds were sort of like stupid money because of all the dicing and all the flower game stuff, but we get 17.2k from them. And if we go collect all the inventory, we're up to 23k cash now, so we're balling already, boys. So... Like I said, I'm not sure the build of the account, I'm probably just going to go all out and train everything sort of in sync and then do quests and stuff, I'm not going to become a pure or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go with the flow really and uh, yeah, just do it as it comes. So, what have we learned since we've last spoke? Well, I've got 3 agility just today off a lamp that I got from Treasure Hunter. Um, obviously, we got the stats from the Waterfall Quest, 30 attack, 30 strength. Currently now, though, my plan is to do runecrafting. I would like to get a higher runecrafting level. Um, you know, going to sit in at rune span while I AFK the Abyss on my main account for 120 strength. So I'm going to see how far I can get, really, um, and we're going to go from there. Also, other changes as well. I have changed my name yet again, so it didn't really take me too long before... Um, you know, I didn't like that name, thought it was a bit cringy, so I have currently changed it to, uh, yeah, as you can see in the bottom, it's now called Free Name. I um, was quite surprised that was free, um, thanks to um, my friend Bubby, who said, uh, you know, who suggested it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It's probably going to be that for quite some time, or maybe even forever now, because I do quite like that name. It's a bit different, it's a bit out of the ordinary, um, and yeah, basically, I'm not going to record every single runecrafting level I get. Um, because that's just too tedious. I'm probably going to record every 10 levels, maybe, or even every, like, I don't know, when I hit a certain milestone, like 30, 40, 50. But every 10 seems a little bit a little bit tedious as well, because uh, it's going to be a lot of clips. And especially for the lower levels, it's going to take, you know, quite some time getting this done. So hopefully this first video is slightly longer than the rest. I mean, I can do, obviously, one-hour specials and stuff now. And the one-hour specials are probably going to be the lower level gains because they're just so so tedious and kind of repetitive and boring um, but there we go we've got 100 total levels now which is uh, kind of cool so yeah just gonna basically plod on with um, rune span and you know see how how long we can stay here for would like to get 50 before I leave and do something different but um, until then we shall see been here for around 30 minutes and we're already 30 rune crafting which is kind of crazy to be honest it's so easy now EOC just seems so much easier obviously I haven't tried out any other any of the other skills yet and slayer and stuff which I want to get into but so far it's looking uh, kind of easy so after about an hour and 15 minutes maybe rune crafting and slightly AFKing and you know missing XP and stuff we hit 40 which is now pretty awesome what can we do at 40 rune crafting and we lag of course so we can do cha cha chaotic clouds um, nebulas uh, that's a bunch of stuff really aiming towards the nature runes at 44 which will be pretty awesome but um, for now I'm going to get 50, I'm going to round it to 50, and I'm going to actually start doing a few quests, I think. Um, which is going to be uh, pretty cool. So we got ourselves 420 points, so 420. Um, and we're going to get ourselves a Wicked Hood when I get, up, get out of here. Um, but until then, just going to keep plodding on for these next 10 levels. So it is done, kind of a lot of AFK done really and we got ourselves 50 rune crafting gonna buy myself the wicked hood now and we're gonna get ourselves out of rune span for a little while gonna do some quests some low level quests get some skills up and just general quest points and uh, we'll also get treasure hunter keys as well which will be another good thing and uh, yeah I've just been doing divination for some reason on my main account as you can see here so yeah let's have a look at the div just over 21 mil XP in Div while doing runecrafting. So the two most boring of skills I have actually been doing on my two screens, which I have no idea why. I should be doing something more entertaining on my main, I guess. But um, onwards and upwards, we are going to do, I don't know, Cook's Assistant now or something like that. Something easy to start off with. Um, and yeah, we'll get that done. Just on the way of doing Cook's Assistant quest, I thought I'd do God Statues. And I think, yeah, we've done there now we get some prayer xp i'm not quite sure how much prayer xp i'll get 
with me only being like level one prayer, but but we'll soon find out. Hopefully it can be a level at least that would be quite nice. So after this long cutscene, let's have a little bit of a look and how much XP we do get. And 250 XP in construction, which is pretty decent, I guess. Or is that construction and prayer? Oh no, we got two construction and also oh three construction, which is decent. And then if we if we do this, 125 prayer XP, and we gain level two prayer, which is pretty good. So onwards to complete in uh, cook's assistant, and it's easy as that. That is cook's assistant done within five minutes, as well as getting a cheeky god statue in there as well. So one quest point, 300 cooking XP, puts us to four cooking straight up. 500 GP, 20 sardines, and we get to use that range as well, which isn't too bad. So um, I'm going to have a little look on what other quests I can do. I might do Imp Catcher and maybe even Vampire Slayer, but we'll see. So yeah, that is another quest down, ticked off, which is pretty good. Um, so onwards and upwards. Vampire Slayer done, easy peasy, 3 quest points and almost 5k attack XP which is pretty sick, so that boosts us up to 33 attack, getting some melee abilities unlocked now which is fairly decent, and we also got 23 combat which is also pretty good, so maybe some more quests or maybe actually maybe like, I don't know, I'm saying maybe a lot but I might go and do some Slayer, I'm not really quite sure but seeing all them skills level 1, oh my lord it is so ugly. Oh man, this is just super fun and it's kind of easy as well in my opinion so far anyway. Got a lot of quests done, or well, three quests, I say a lot of quests, it's three quests. Um, and yeah, I'm basically having a good time to mess with you. I've missed levelling up like I've said previously, but as you can see there, Restless Ghost completed one quest point, 125 prey XP and Ancient Bones as well which give more prey XP. So we get three prey there if we bury all these really quick. And we do get 10 prayers, so we are racking up very, very nicely. 24 combat as well, and we've unlocked a, f a fair set of prayers down the bottom, which is uh, pretty awesome. Coming in with 10 mining, that is a requirement needed for a knight sword quest, which is what I decided to do next. Get these quests on the go, get up some rapid levels, and I think a knight sword quest, I end up getting around, is it like 25 or 30 smithing? So yeah, 10 mining is the initial requirement. We got that now, we can now come and do this quest. So after about 5 minutes of running about and unlocking a few more lodestones, I've unlocked Fally Lodestone now, which is kind of cool. We got the uh, blue right sword here, so we're going to hopefully in this next chat dialogue complete the quest and boost up a fair amount of smithing levels. Yeah, there we are, 29 smithing from level 1 from that quest, which is absolutely amazing. Also, we've got two treasure hunter keys, which we are stacking up quite nicely. I'm not sure when I'm going to use them. I've um, got 200 total milestone as well now, which is great. But yeah, treasure hunter keys, guys, what should I do? Should I wait for me to complete every single quest, which is going to take a while, or should I use them as I get them so you know for now I'm gonna hold on to them until I obviously read the comments but let us know what do you think should I keep them until I complete every single quest or should I use them as I go so after around five million hours of AFKing safe spotting with one mage trying to kill them bosses for this kid and his stupid ball hopefully we can finally complete this quest and we can get some HP XP and a decent HP level up to 24 life points now which is very nice 12 quest points in total and uh, yeah we got obviously some more uh, treasure hunter keys which is decent and we are now at 28 combat which is awesome so that is our first slayer task done I only had five of these things in here to kill what I'm currently doing now is training my mage up um, that is something that I want to do to unlock Surge because Surge is such a such a useful ability. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing a little bit of Slayer from it. It's going to take me a while, but um, in that time as well, hopefully I can learn a few bits and bobs about the uh, the new um, or not the new combat system, but I mean you know doing using the combat system at low levels because obviously, like I said before, um, I started EOC when I was practically maxed. So I've got a lot of learning to do regarding low levels but it's going to be fun. So that is the Minotaur task done, got ourselves 7 mage and also 3 defense before I changed the, uh, the spell book thingy, the uh, combat style. 
But with us sort of being close to Barrock now, I'm going to go to the museum and we're going to do the quiz on the on the ground floor, I think, or the basement, whatever you want to call it. And that will get us 909 Slayer straight off the bat if we complete that. It's a little bit tedious, but all low levels should be able to do this and should do it just for easy levels and, you know, easy XP. So, just quickly done the um, quiz or, you know, changing all the plaques and stuff on the um, displays in the museum. And we got ourselves Nine Hunter and we get Ten Slayer because we were already level 2 when we first started. So that's pretty nice, up to 2, 3, 7 total level now. Still 28 combat. Might do a few more quests now, I'm not quite sure. Or I might just camp and do some Mage and unlock Surge, which is level... It's level 30, so it's not too far. So it's kind of been a while since I've been on this account, but I'll give you guys a stat update. I haven't done too much other than getting 7 divination levels that I got from a daily challenge while this uh, this raffle's on. And I de um, deposited 6 tickets to getting, hopefully, death touch darts, which I suppose I'll use on Calfight King. Which we can claim our reward now, so if we have a look... And hey, we got. Yeah, I, I deposited eight tickets on my main right and got nothing. First ticket on this, I get Death Touch Darts. Like, what is this? We've still got another four more to do, I think. So. Yep, that is. That is it. So we got ourselves Prismatic Stars, which I suppose will go into agility until I do end up getting the Silverhawk Boots, if I do get them. Um, but for now, I suppose we can go to KK and use these darts, I guess, and test our luck. So, we got an agility daily challenge, just got 10 off it. I've got just how many more laps to do? Let me have a look. Two more laps to do, and we can get ourselves another raffle ticket. Then I'll go to Calfight King, and we shall test our luck at getting possibly a decent drop, which can get us some decent, well, some starter cash, I guess. If I get a dry goal, then I'll be. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious, but um, I'm going to use these darts at KK because I really cannot bother grinding out stats for next right now. So it is time to use my death touch darts. I almost died trying to get here. I had to buy some food and stuff and I got poisoned along the way because I didn't realise there was an agility shortcut. So if we... If I get a dry gore, I am actually going to laugh, not going to lie. Um, but any of these drops really are good because it's going to give me a quite a nice base cash stack because my cash right now is 5.1k. And yeah, I got lucky getting these darts. Um, so I don't really mind any drops. If we don't get a dry gore, then it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm going to get good base cash stack anyway, just off these um, normal drops that I do get. So that was kill number one, and we got black dehyde, kill number two there. Let's see what we get. And Grammy Tour Stalls, which isn't so bad. So that's 30. How much are they each? They're 5.5k each, which is awesome stuff. And then just need to wait for the last one to respawn. And um, yeah, we'll get the third kill down. But what I'm basically going to do is if I get my insta kill darts next week, then I'm just going to keep using them at Calfight King until maybe I can get the stats for next. But until then, Calfight King's going to be alright anyway, so the drops aren't too bad. And yeah, of course, we do get the shark drops, which I'm going to try and pick up as many of them as I possibly can. And we shall get out of here, and I'm actually going to sell the loot as well, so that'll give us a nice cash stack to uh, continue our progress, I guess. I suppose I suppose it's cheating, or basically luck, but I mean, it's an update by Jagex, so, you know, I've got to take advantage of it. So if we teleport out, I'll go back to the GE, and um, yeah, we'll have a look at how much I get. So that is the two drops sold, and we now have a base cash stack of 583k, which is pretty nice. And if we have a look at the bank as well at the same time, then um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> very, very boring. I've got my two raffle tickets, which I'm going to be saving up for next week when I deposit eight, I think it'll be, um, hopefully for the death touch darts. And also I've got a rummage ticket here, which you get an added reward once this updates. Are no longer in the game apparently but um yeah 583k cash now i'm pretty happy with that i can now spend it on like runes and stuff and level some skills up i guess so that's uh that's pretty good 
So, an update is probably due for this account. I haven't really done much. All I've been doing is logging on daily just to do daily tasks and get up some uh, raffle tickets. I'll show you in the bank. I'm collecting them and saving them for the insta kill darts, as you guys know. We're on 9 right now. And all I've been doing is daily ch uh, challenges to get two tickets per day rather than the one from Balthasar that like you can talk to him and claim. So let's have a stat update and yeah I just had an agility daily task so we're up to 18 now which is uh, awesome stuff many things you can do there but yeah we're getting there slowly 289 total and 172k XP gained. Now what I was thinking of doing was um, I do have 21 spins and I might just uh, use them all. I think it'd be more efficient for me to use them all as I get them rather than saving them up because obviously I don't think your daily spins stack and also um, you're less likely to get I think treasure hunter tokens I think anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my quick 21 keys um, and let's uh, see what we get. All the all the um, prismatic stars are going on agility right now because I do not have silverhawk boots so I'm going to probably end up banking most of this so I can sell it for cash so there's currently a promotion on starlight or not sure what that does so I need to read up on it and just um, go with the flow on that really but if we quickly go through it all then yes so as I said sticking all the normal prismatic stars on to agility Ooh, what is that and yeah we're just gonna go with the flow and go from there really because agility is a bit of a pain but I don't really mind it to be honest it's kind of a nostalgic feeling running around in a circle I guess so the final three keys and we are basically finito so quickly use all these for bonus XP and then we're gonna pop all these onto agility so 1.3k bonus which is a fair decent amount hunter got up to level 11 there rune crafting and then defense so we're up to four defense now so that is awesome stuff so not too bad just from doing dailies i guess and plodding on with it as we come and we still got spins oh we still got another spin so let's quickly use this and more starlight ore. So I'll read up on what that stuff does do. It's probably like smithing XP or something if you combine it. What does it do? And... Oh, another another one of these boring promotions. Anyway, there's going to be a stat update for a little bit. I'm probably going to do one again in a uh, few days time. So I shall see you then. With it being the start of a new day, I obviously claimed everything that I submit submitted my golden tickets in for and we got ourselves three death touch darts which you know what that means I'm geared now for Calphite King that is the only thing I can really do with this um, with these darts that is kind of effective gonna get us some more good base cash unless I just get three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shark drops which I don't know I think that's kind of rare to get anyway so we're gonna be at KK now and hopefully we can get something decent I think it would actually be pretty hilarious if I did get the pet. I mean, I'd rage, but it'd be so cool at the same time to have the Calvite King pet at 29 combat and with zero kills logged. But the first kill down there with the insta kill dart, and let's have a look at the loot. What are we going to get? No fucking way. <laughs> no way we got a drag or mace. Oh my god. <laughs> that is that is absolutely hilarious. That is... Oh my god. Jesus, that is so funny. Anyway, we're going to wait here now for the second kill, and that is 21.9 mil. <laughs> oh, I'm more excited than getting a drop on this account than I am my main. Fair dues. So, are we going to get a back to back? That is going to be the question. No, we got U Seeds, which is decent, and the Crimson Charms as well. So, this, this trip has just made my account that little bit special I guess I mean I've got amazing base cash now I'm gonna sell that straight away of course because there's no point keeping it until I get the stats for it so I may as well sell it and be able to uh, level up some some skills and whatnot so coming in with the third kill here then and we get let's have a look sharks so I'm very very happy with that trip <laughs> made like 20 odd mil so I'll just pick up these sharks uh, or majority of what I can do, no charms either so we're going to teleport out, I'm going to leave the rest of them there and yeah we're, we're going to actually price check this to see how much we've got so inventory, price checker, dragon mace and the UCs, 22.3 mil I'm going to sell this now and we're going to go on a spending spree I guess 
So then, that is the bank, all the food, the sharks and the lobsters that I took with me and the charms as well which is going to be, it's going to be kind of cool obviously picking up the charms again manually and not having a charming imp for now and also collecting gold and green charms because I need to count them as valuable to me at the moment as well so what we shall do, we shall open up the grand exchange and we're going to sell the U seeds and the dragon mace so that is, <laughs> still can't believe it to be honest, I mean that is what four Calfight King kills we got ourselves over 23 mil ish so that's that is uh, very very juicy i guess so up to 22 mil cash already i'm not sure what i'm going to spend it on i'm probably just going to keep it there sitting there for now because i'm just level up my stats sort of with dailies and whatnot until i figure out what i'm going to do and what the best thing is to buy so basically after around two hours, two and a half hours of just AFKing at the Citadel whilst doing prayer and agility on my main account, I have eventually capped at the clan Citadel and it is just amazing XP. I've got a few strange rocks as well which I'm going to use and they're going to be very very helpful I think on the process of doing um, this account. So if we jump into the stats then, big jump up, we've gained 17 mining levels, I think we started from level 10 when I was here, we've gained 28 fire making levels um, and also we have gained... Um, I'm not quite sure, I think it's a good 11 maybe, smithing levels, I can't really remember what level I started at. Um, but yeah, Clan Citadel is awesome to do just to level up your, um, you know, your skilling stats like woodcutting, fire making, mining, smithing and that sort of stuff. And obviously when you get higher level citadels you can unlock the, the summoning plot and also the crafting plot which is very very useful. Um, but we're yet to get them, we're working on them as we speak. Um, so that is uh, pretty nice, we're up to 375 total now at 29 combat and obviously that Dragon Maze helped out a bunch and we've got 22.1 mil cash to play with which I'm probably going to end up buying it, you know, like runes, arrows, melee equipment and that sort of stuff. I'm not really quite sure if I'm going to go and jump straight into a buyable just yet. I might level up to a few, well I might get um, protect from melee, um, that might be very very useful for when I go for a fire. Um, fire cape because that is a, a nice little goal to go for I guess um, but yeah for now I'm going to end this episode off here because it's been around 30 minutes or so and this episode has been obviously the first episode and it's been quite tedious on what I was doing with me being such low levels to start with so um yeah, depending on how this episode gets rating wise, um, you know, it's going to inform me whether you do like the longer episodes and that will obviously give me the opportunity to reintroduce one hour specials like I used to do on my Slayer series, which, you know, doing this series is going to allow me to do, um, especially at lower levels as well, just to compact it all and so, so we don't have to drag it out as much. Um, and also you guys, I think, appreciate one hour episodes because you can just skill on the side whilst listening or even watching. So then, plans for episode number two is just going to be quest it really. Um, try and get a decent base stat, maybe like 20 or base stats, I guess. That'll be quite good to go for. Um, but yeah, definitely I want to do prayer, get protect from melee done. Um, and then I won't have to touch prayer for quite some time. And uh, maybe even train mage, get surge unlocked. So until then guys, um, I do hope you enjoy watching. So feedback is going to be critical. Um, I'm always looking for you know for, for constructive uh, criticism and feedback and obviously the ratings on this video are going to determine whether you guys really do enjoy this series or not so far so um, other than that guys thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one peace oh